good evening friends welcome to this uh, special interactive presentation for ca students on achieving success in ca exams and this presentation is done by bombay chartered accountant society jointly with vikasa of the icai and my name is raman jokhakar i serve as the president of the bombay chartered accountant society and i'm delighted to welcome all of you i know it's a little bit early to uh, start a session on a working day in the evening uh, at the same time i'm glad that you all have made it here we have uh, two brilliant speakers from whom we are going to hear more later however before that i have a very pleasant task to present before you a special ca student and a lot of you may have read about him in the newspaper of 19th july and his name is mahesh londe and he has come here especially from pune and he has a very special story and maybe i will leave that story for him to tell you rather than me telling you but he is someone who passed his ca exam at first attempt and he is here with his entire family his father mr vishnu londe his mother vimal londe and sister also uh, is here so we want to welcome him and his family but i will leave the surprise for him to tell you uh, before he speaks to all of us uh, we have uh uh shri narayan varma present uh, a memento to mahesh for this special achievement of passing the ca exam at first attempt and that also is a surprise why we are honoring him when you hear from him you will know why we are doing what we are doing but before we begin i would request uh narayan bhai who is our past president of the bombay chartered accountant society to present this special gift and honor mahesh on behalf of the society the wrc and all of us sorry yes Yeah. 
as you heard from Narayan Bhai, he is our youngest member of the Chartered Accountant Society. He just got younger yesterday and he celebrated his 84th birthday. And one of his special attributes is that he is not just a Chartered Accountant, like he said right now, but a good human being. And in terms of the activities, Beyond profession, he has been a crusader of RTI, he has been contributing articles, has authored this book on RTI, which is like a Bible that you can use to, you know, make governance uh, a better deal for our citizens. So, uh, before I request Mahesh to uh, tell us, uh, he is going to share with us his story, his journey of how he became a chartered accountant. Uh, what were the difficulties he faced? Why did he choose this career, which is apparently one of the most difficult exams to pass? Uh, you know, how did he cope up with, you know, classes and exams and articleship? And what was his whole experience? Uh, you know, what were his uh, ideals uh, when he pursued chartered accountancy? Whom did he look up to? And so on and so forth. So, uh, friends, it's my great uh, uh, honor to uh, request uh, Mahesh to speak to us. Thank you, sir. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mahesh Lunde and today I am present here to share the journey of my life. As the sir rightly said, how many of you have read in newspaper that uh, son of Bhailwala became CA in first attempt? How many of you? Yeah. So that son is standing in front of you and delivering the speech, friends. This is a great honor for me to give a uh, stand over here and declare or give a speech in front of such a great professionals and with a bright society. Starting from my childhood days, we are a family of five people, which includes, of course, my parents. My father is bail vendor at Pune Railway Station. <laughs> Definitely, sir, next time... My mother, she is a homemaker. I have two younger siblings, my brother and sister. I have completed my schooling with Bharat English School. Friends, though my school name includes English school, but it was pure Marathi medium school. I was an average student in my school, not an extraordinary guy, just who liked to play cricket and football in school days. After my 10th standard, I got admission in BMCC College. It was very difficult for me to grasp the concept taught in English because taking school lightly had its own consequences. But my parents and the Akansha Foundation, I'll brief you about Akansha Foundation later, but my parents and Akansha Foundation has helped me in the form of getting an extra classes for my 12th and 12th standard and that helped me to clear my CA. I personally started reading English newspapers to cope up with an English thing. I was not aware ki how much uh, importance English carries in your profession. Though uh, I was entered in uh, commerce faculty in English medium school. Thus, it was a great journey for me uh, from my 10th standard to 12th standard. I cleared my 12th standard with 72%. That gave me a courage to explore a professional course like CA. It was quite a challenging journey for me. It was all new for all the new experience and all the new courses and the toughest course in the commerce faculty. That's the thing attracted me most while doing an CA. As you, like I'll brief about my condition, like family condition in brief. My father, as I told earlier, he is a bail vendor. So we were having some financial problems and some financial issues. That was true. But I have planned it accordingly that I'll get a job or get an opportunity to work for a corporate house or I'll start my practice in either way. But I have to do it in small span. 
with a great achievement or a great course so when i joined commerce fact uh, as uh, commerce faculty i have searched for many courses it was ca cs cwa mba but i have thought ki doing ca will give me and that pride and give me that opportunity in both the terms it will be in monetary as well as in non monetary terms friend so i have chosen ca as my course and as my career due be depending on the thing that it will give me an condition in monetary terms that i'll support my family in just 5 years it was a great equation of working for 5 years and enjoying for 50 years it was quite challenging journey for me i used to study almost for 16 hours daily the place where i stay friends it is a slum community i stay in a house made up of 10 and yes but many people around us community are not aware and they are not having an importance of education whenever i used to sit for study some people used to play music at their home or some noises or some kind of violence is going on in our community but for overcoming that i have joined library with my classes and i used to study at night after 12:30 in midnight because when many people were sleeping at a community at that time i used to start my studies because at that time that was the right time for me to study and that's why i loved doing night studies you may say that i loved or that was my uh, like i have to do it you can either way but still this hard work paid off when i took when i cleared my ca final in first attempt in may 2015 as i did my ca simultaneously with my bcom i was merit holder in my uh, bcom final year also i was i stood fifth in pune university for my graduation <laughs> this achievement reinforced my will to working towards my goal of working in a corporate industry and getting an cpa certification from uk someday us sorry us someday I currently I am undergoing my article ship with DRP and company just one month remaining sir uh, for my article completion of article ship and after that I'll be a professional called a chartered accountant pre- as rightly said and I can join a corporate industry I have given my interview with Thermax Limited uh, maybe from uh, 1st of October I'll be joining that company above and beyond my studies my parents made me socially conscious person as well as part of social leadership program at akanksha foundation friends akanksha foundation is an ngo which works for underprivileged students for in getting education for financial support in any terms in education matters they showed us a movie called pay it forward which was about giving back to society thus i formed a group called writers club at bmcc a group set up to assist visually and physically child students in writing their exams the biggest force that egged on me was my parents my father would personally take me to and from school every day because he was doubtful i might bunk my mother who actually nurtured me and took all the difficulties I take this opportunity and thank my parents for believing me and and having the great faith on me that I'll be doing something for them in current future. I am indebted to their dedication and have just one dream to give them all the happiness what they envision. I conclude by saying friends don't be trapped by dogma which is living with the result of other people's thinking. don't let the noise of others opinion let the let the drown out your inner voice and most important friend have the courage to follow your heart and your intuition <laughs> they somehow already know what you truly want to become everything is secondary friends everything is secondary i take i thank bombay chartered accountant society mr mukesh trivedi sir who contacted me for giving me a, such a wonderful opportunity to present my short journey in brief to all of you thank you friends thanks a lot
Thank you, Mahesh, for sharing your story. And friends, now you know why I didn't introduce him. And this introduction, I wouldn't have been able to match it ever. Uh, respected uh, faculty of the day, and of course, we wish Mahesh all the best in the years to come, and may all his dreams come true. And a special thanks to the family and the parents also uh, to support their child in the manner they did and for being here with us today evening. Uh, respected faculty, uh, Mayur Bhai Nayak and Atul Beda. Uh, Mukesh Bhai Trivedi, who is Human Development and Technology Initiative Committee's uh, convener. Uh, young friends, I welcome all of you to this uh, special session about passing CA exams. There is a Latin maxim which says, Feller ergo sum, which means, I err, therefore I am. And it's quite a unique Latin maxim that I am because I make a mistake or I fail. And it's something to ponder about. Now that when, when we look at our life, most of us have, you know, never seen any failure at school days or college, you know, hardly anyone. Today everyone gets like 92%, 98%. In SSC, HSC, you know, we get so many marks. Um, so failure is not something that we have ever faced, thought about in our life. And suddenly we come to a CA exam or on the day of CA result and there is something dramatic. However, when we look at the bigger picture of life, and I have, you know, gone past the exam days and lot of years have passed, I see that in the big picture of life, the result and the exam and all that is not really a big deal. Because it's not just the life is much bigger than passing one exam or getting more marks and all of that. For example, if you look at sports, athletes fail the maximum. And the difference between someone who gets a gold, a silver, or a bronze, you know how much the difference is? A fraction of a second. Sometimes people practice for four years, eight years, 12 years, 15 years, and they may not even qualify in sports activities, right? If they want to go to a Asian Games or an Olympic, sometimes people prepare for whole life, and at the end they may not even qualify. Sometimes they run the race, they are there, but they will lose by just a fraction of seconds. However, as human beings, and I did a bit of research, we are hardwired to remember failure. It somehow impacts us in a big way. But the good news is that the fear of failure is a learned response, and therefore one can unlearn it as well. So since we ourselves intimidate ourselves, we can stop doing that as well. I want to just share a few examples before I introduce the first speaker, is of some great people that we can remember before we start this session. Have you heard of Thomas Alva Edison? Have you found out how many times he took before he made the light bulb which is there in every single building that we know today? Anyone? How many attempts he made? About 1,000. So there are various numbers. And he said that now I know whatever 1,000 ways of how not to make a light bulb. Anyone heard of Harry Potter? How many of you have heard of Harry Potter? Okay, a lot of you. You know what is the story about the author of Harry Potter? Anyone? No? So J.K. Rowling is the name of the lady, right? You remember that name. Twelve 
mightiest biggest publishers rejected the first harry potter book the philosopher's stone 12 biggest right for a, someone who writes a book it's a big deal to go from pillar to post to get it published and you know what is the history harry potter books the first four or six books set a history of the fastest selling book in both europe and america combined and the numbers are sales of 450 million that's very large the 8 year old girl of the editor she refused to give the transcript to the editor of that publishing house who finally published till she finished it but still the editor thought madam rolling this is not a good idea you should get a day job i'm publishing your book but you may not you know earn much money from this publishing children's story that's what he told her rudyard kipling have you heard of him jungle book how many of you have read jungle book oh, only few okay so even the author of such a famous book he was told that mr kipling you just don't know how to use english language so there are many such stories including of business people that we are going to hear from mayur bhai and atul bhai one of the last ones that i recently read was of jack ma he is who is he anyone heard of jack ma alibaba the online store he failed three university exams he was rejected from 30 jobs and he didn't get a position at kfc can you believe it and what did he end up doing a 25 billion dollars ipo 600 million users on his portal 100 million shoppers a day that record and he has created 40 million jobs in china like we heard from mahesh it's not the degree but the but the dream it's the drive and the passion that really works and if you really want it there is no way that you cannot make it there is no way that you cannot make it there's one last story that i read yesterday is of arnold schwarzenegger anyone saw him in any movies terminator yes he was born in austria he didn't speak english and you know what dream he had he wanted to do three things he wanted to go to america he wanted to become a hollywood star he didn't speak english he wanted to make a million dollars did that happen it did so friends it's what you believe and what your dream which really counts and degree is only a passing phase so it's my great pleasure to uh, introduce the first speaker of the day and before i introduce him i have last one more story which i want to share which they are not going to tell and that story is about preparing and you saw mahesh when he spoke he was totally prepared he has you know made his speech really intact and he told this story in a very short time and this story is of shrinivas ramanujan and you must do a google and look out for this particular uh, mathematician from india and the story about him is this that when he gave exams and there were 10 questions and usually you would have okay solve any 7 or 8 out of 10 right that's what a paper says the way he wrote exams he was such a brilliant person he would say he would write all 10 question answers and he would write correct any 7 as per your choice what did he write and this is what you are going to hear about preparing that if you have that benchmark when you are preparing that you would you know not look at just can i solve 7 or 6 but i can write all 10 and that's how i prepare you know how runners prepare they go to nepal some high altitude place and they run there before they run a marathon at sea level because then when they run at sea level it's very easy because they have run at a high altitude location where oxygen is you know minimal 
So we are going to hear lots of stories, uh, very beautiful anecdotes, their personal experiences from the institute side, from paper setting to all of that. And I don't want to stand in between you and Atul Bhai and Mayur Bhai. Uh, first, I, it's my pleasure to introduce Shri Atul Bheda. He is a BCom, LLB, FCA. He has written several books. He has been a practicing chartered accountant with a degree in law and information systems audit. Also done a diploma in genealogy. And he has been in practice for nearly 30 years. And he has been a member of Central Council of the Institute of Chartered Accountants from, for the period 2007 to 2013. He was also the chairman of the Western India Regional Council of the ICI. And he has been in several committees. Earlier was the chairman of Committee of Information Technology, Indirect Tax, Ethical Standard Board, Expert Advisory Committee of the ICI. And also, more important for you, he was a part of the exam committee as well as the board of studies. So he will be sharing a lot of insights on you know how the institutes looks at these exams. So friends, I request all of you to uh, welcome Atul Bhai. And before, <laughs> before he speak to us, uh, I will request Mukesh Trivedi to present a memento on our behalf as a mark of our appreciation and regard. Thank you, Nayan Bhai, for sharing wonderful uh, lecture. And first of all, again, heads off to you. I know just, I think, yesterday or day before yesterday, you celebrated your uh, birthday, probably. And I don't know, yesterday, yes, yesterday you celebrated your birthday. So from all of us, uh, uh, really wish you a great life. And the way you are being, you know, really having a fantastic, I would say, um, in spite of whatever things are coming in your way, you are being, you know, going ahead and, you know, uh, example for a lot of people like us, you know, yes, this is how you should live, you know. So, heads off to you, sir. <laughs> President, uh, Mr. Raman uh, Jokakar. Yeah. 
President Mr. Raman Jokakar, Mukesh Trivedi, the very active convener of uh, the committee, my co-speaker for uh, today, Mr. Mayur Nayak, Mr. KK, uh, Narayan Bhai, just living, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to congratulate Mahesh for a very, very, very successful uh, examination and his parents that the way you have really nurtured upon J. Hanna Shikshan Dilay, Kya Baddal, Ek Ami Savurat Sarva Loka Ite Baslet, then Ami Kub Abhariyaut, Ki Asha Ek Kubat Sangla Mulga, Amcha Profession Made Enare, Ek Maina Nantar, Tepan Chartered Accountant Asa Sangun, Ek Kubats Vivastit Kam Kilatani, Ani Ek Samazat. तुमसा नाव खूब कार्डनर असामला दिस्तो है आणि आमी खूब स्टूडेंट्स ना बगित लेला है आणि जहाँ प्रमाणे ही ते बोलत होता आई कैन आमी शंगु शक्तो कि पुरे जाऊँ खूब मोठा मनुष्य होना रहते आम ची सर्वांसी खूब खूब सुबेच्छा ऑल द बेस्ट महेश कमिंग टू द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे आई एम शर <clears throat> All of us want this mantra to, you know, thoda ratan karenge mantra ka or see a pass ho jayenge. Uh, this is what uh, would be the expectation. Uh, so we'll see how exactly, you know, we are being uh, doing that. Just to uh, start with, uh, I suppose most of you or anybody from final CA would be appearing final CA. Few of you would be appearing final CA in, in when? Next attempt or after that? Next attempt. Okay, fine. And uh, balance all of you are from IPCC, right? Okay, fine. And I believe many of us, those who are appearing for final, and how many of you have appeared for your IPCC, last IPCC? Few of you have appeared for last IPCC also. And maybe you must have passed one group or maybe you have uh, not passed a single group also. Not a problem. Because you are in majority. In democracy, you know, always the rules, uh, the rule is by the majority. Because I just now, you know, was saying when Mahesh passed, the result was just 0.8 point, point some, some few percentage for both the groups and individual group also it was below 13% or something like that. So majority people failed. So you are always there in majority. In democracy, who rules? Majority rules. So you are the ruler. Don't not to be worried about uh, you know CA. And we talk about you know CA. Uh, it is like come again. This is what we call you know. And uh, even for me and uh, Mayur Bhai, uh, you know it is uh, a come again here because just few days back, uh, both of us were as a faculty at a different venue, and we had been you know speaking on this very topic. And somewhere you know probably. The organizers felt that, you know, yes, there are some mistakes, you know, they have failed. Let them come again. And therefore, both of us have been, you know, called again and appear here again before all of you. So you'll have to judge us. <laughs> President, sir, that is uh, one, one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is, you know, when you are going for some performance and when you like that performance, you generally, what do you say, you know? Once more, once more, right? And you want to repeat that performance. So maybe that could have been the reason that both, both of us have been called again. And I'm a person of a very, very positive attitude, you know. Uh, as Mahesh said, you have to be very positive. I am a person of a very positive attitude. That yes, I am called here because that was once more and because of that I am been called here. So that is how I look at the things. Yeah. I'll, I'll, what I'll do is, few of the slides, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just go through because uh, Mayur Bhai is going to take uh, that in a great detail and he will take us to a different perspective. So therefore,
Ya. Okay. This is the first problem with most of us. Exam are ye. Ab kya padu? So many, you know, huge amount of resources with us to study. You know, हम जब बात करते हैं तो बहुत बहुत बार ऐसा होता है. बहुत सारा सिलेबस है कितना सिलेबस है सागर जितना सिलेबस है ठीक है हम पढ़ पाते कितना है एक गागर जितना गागर कितना होता है इतना सा पढ़ पाते हैं और जब लिखने बैठते हैं तो हमको याद कितना रहता है शायद एक लोटे जितना हम लिख कितना पाते हैं एक चम्मच जितना और मार्क्स कितने मिलते हैं बूंद जितना दैट इज सी एग्जाम्स राइट तो पढ़ना क्या एक बहुत बड़ी दुविधा होती है वॉट शुड आई रीड एंड मेनी ऑफ अस मस्ट हैव ज्वाइंट क्लासेस हाउ मेनी ऑफ यूर नॉट ज्वाइंट क्लासेस एक भी नहीं है तीन चार वेरी गुड एक्सलेंट आई थिंक वी शुड रियली क्लैप फॉर ऑल ऑफ देम बिकॉज देर आर आई थिंक सिक्स सेवन एट स्टूडेंट यूर नॉट ज्वाइन क्लासेस हमारे जमाने में क्लासेस ज्वाइन करना एक बहुत बड़ी बात होती थी मयूर भाई राइट टूडे क्लासेस ज्वाइन नहीं करना इज रियली वेरी बिग थिंग today because today most of the people have joined classes and the peer pressure is so much ki agar koi classes join nahi karega to log usko lenge are classes join nahi kiya kya hoga tera and usi ke mare mein bichade ka aadha aadha to wahi par wo mar jata hai but heads off to all of you who are not joined classes the guts you have is really very good not that you will not guts of you know really not studying or studying it is guts of facing the रियल चैलेंज ऑफ योर पियर्स आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव फेस्ड ऑल दैट ठीक है ना ऐसा आपके दोस्तों ने बोला होगा क्या पागल है क्लासेस ज्वाइन नहीं करता है पास कैसे होगा बट येस दैट इज समथिंग ग्रेट अब दो ज्वाइन क्लासेस जनरली क्या होता है यू विल ट्राई टू रीड द नोट्स ऑफ द क्लासेस वाई बिकॉज स्टडी मटेरियल और प्रैक्टिस मैन्यूल बहुत ज्यादा मोटे होते हैं इतना सब कौन पड़ेगा Let us go for the notes which are given by the institute uh, by the classes. Now naturally, those notes are kind of kind of concise. Kiye gaye hain. So therefore, my suggestion is, ab kya padu jab ab sochte ho, to try to take up the challenge. Maybe your study material, PM should be, should be what that you should go through. Vapas atte. Just see some. इसको क्लोज करो क्या रिपेयर ओके बंद हो जाता बंद हो जाता ऐसा तो चल रहा है नहीं ऐसा तो चल रहा है जब वो रुकता है ना तो ठीक है चलो इसे मैंने किया बट वो बीच में कोई
Ya. Okey. Fine. So when we talk about you know failures, there could be various you know reasons. These are some of the reasons which we try to you know put before the people that okay why we are failing. We are not going into the detailing of all that. I just skip this. Okay. How many have seen this? Oh, quite a few of you. Four, five people are here. How many of you have? have how many of you have, have this? How many of you have this? Three, four people have this. How many have read this? Very good, very good. Some people have read this. What about this? Is this for someone? No? Buy it. This is the latest version. You have it. Very good. See, this is where we want to appear for an examination conducted by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. Right? This particular body, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, is also giving you a key. Ek tala khola hai, uski chabi bhi yehi institute de rahi hai. How to face CA exams. Aur humko wo chabi dekhne ki bhi zorurat nahi padti. We don't even know that you know this sort of material is available. Institute ki website pe kitne logo ne aise kuch bhi dekha hoga. How many of you know there are a lot of PPTs, video lectures, have you know, are you aware about it? Board of Studies is doing n number of activities for all these things. These are, these are the few URLs where you go on this URL and you for IPCC, CPT and final. <coughs> you get, you know, immediately you will go at various places. There you have paper wise in that topic wise, you have the details. Right? And they are really very helpful. Why helpful? Because this you can really read, reread, and at your pace, at your convenience. Agar kuch concept samaj mein nahi aya, immediately wapas wo chapter mein ja kar ke hum dekh sakte hain. Do baar, teen baar, n number of times. And at your convenience, jahan par aapko dekhna hai, aap dekh sakte ho. This is what has been provided by institute. I would suggest kindly, you know, do that. Because that will give you lot of insight, ki especially for the topics which you are not able to understand. That will be of a great help to you. Okay, how to face the uh, CA exams? First is have confidence in yourself. I think uh, mo uh, just few minutes back, Mahesh was talking about the confidence. He talked about positive approach. He talked about planning your studies, right? Now, when we talk about confidence, why we should afraid of being CA exams? ठीक है, पढ़ाई किया हमने, fail हो गए तो क्या हुआ उसमें? CA, after you become CA, nobody asks you how many attempts. Right? Important is just clear CA exams. And once you are CA, sky is the limit. You know, just now Mahesh was talking about you know going for CPA exams. Mahesh, go to CA Institute's website. There are a lot of MRAs where you go and appear for one paper, two paper, and you get the degree of England Institute. You get degree of Australian Institute. You get degree of Ireland Institute. You get degree of New Zealand Institute. There are around nine, eight to nine MRAs of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India with various other countries where you have just to appear for few papers and you get the degree of the Chartered Accountancy of that particular country, right? So this, uh, when, when you talk about going for England and Wales, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of England and Wales, huge opportunities are available because, you know, all the Commonwealth countries would accept that. So Australia, you know, again something great opportunity. So just this is for the information because Mahesh was talking about the CPA. I thought let me let me share the uh, information about institute having various uh, types with so many other in institutes. So first is confidence. Yes. So be very very confident. Be a positive approach. ऐसा सोच के नहीं जाना चाहिए कि CA का paper tough ही होता है. 
वहां पर लोग पास ही नहीं करते हैं देर सो मेनी सो मेनी थिंग्स यू नो ऐसा सोचते हैं कि वहां पर पेपर कोई पढ़ता ही नहीं है देर आर सो मेनी फीडबैक विच वी आर गेटिंग वेन पीपल टॉक टू अर स्टूडेंट्स टॉक टू अर्स सर क्या पेपर तो कोई वहां पढ़ता ही नहीं है ऐसे ही मार्क्स दे देते हैं कुछ भी होता है एंड देर आर देर आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दैट Why they they are you know telling like this? क्योंकि क्या होता है कि today all of you know we are giving the institute is giving the photocopies of the papers, right? और आपने बहुत बार ऐसा सुना होगा कि जब फोटोकॉपी मंगाया तो मार्क्स 37 थे बट की मार्कशीट में 45 फाइव मार्क्स थे क्या इंस्टीट्यूट में कोई अक्कल ही नहीं है ऐसा सुना होगा नहीं राइट right? बट वो जब मार्क्स 37 वाला कोई किसी को बोलता नहीं है 37 है 45 फाइव मिला है गुपचुप बैठे रहो नाउ आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू देर आर बेसिक देर आर देर फंडामेंटल लॉजिक इन दैट एंड हाउ यू विल आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू दैट वाई दिस इज हैपनिंग ठीक है Plan your studies. Now, this is fundamental, very very important. Whatever you want to do, today all of you came to this particular venue. कुछ ऐसे ही चलते तो नहीं आ गए ना. You must have planned in the day today कि हम कैसे जाएंगे, कैसे वहाँ पर पहुँचेंगे, कितने बजे पहुँचेंगे. Isn't it? Without planning, you have not come. So, planning your studies first of all, you should know your destination. ठीक है. अभी आपको कितना पढ़ना है वो मालूम है आपको? हाउ मच यू टू रीड आपकी पढ़ाई की पेस कितनी है हाउ यू विल सी आपको ऐसा लगता है वो एग्जाम को तो बहुत दिन है सो मेनी डेज नो प्रॉब्लम टू मंथ्स थ्री मंथ्स बहुत हो गया बट हाउ आई वुड सजेस्ट टू प्लान योर स्टडीज इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट दिस दिस एब्सोल्युटली अ रफ बेंच मार्क दैट हाउ हाउ यू शुड प्लान वॉट आर द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पेजेस फॉर ईच सब्जेक्ट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू रीड The benchmark here, I would suggest, go to your uh, study material. Try to find out total number of pages. Right? You will see, maybe it would be around four thousand, five thousand pages total. Sub mila karke all subjects, both groups. Right? Then you find out what is your speed of reading. Right? एक घंटे में समझो ten pages. I'm just taking in uh, you know rough estimates. How many hours you can read? not everybody would be like mahesh who can read 16 hours a day right and and actually speaking you know that is the hard work you require if really you want to clear ca exams so maybe agar aaj aap 8 ghanta 9 ghanta 10 ghanta karte hain your target should be in next 15 days to 20 days ye 15 17 ghanta humko padhai karni hi karni hai i think that should be your target right don't then only you will be able to reach the target which will set right now so if you talk about say uh, 10 hours a day right now right to kitne pages ho gaye per day 10 10 pages an hour 10 hours per day 100 pages kitne pages padne hain 5000 right so kitne din lagenge right so that is how you should plan out so that becomes your first reading right then it there are pm so many other things to be done so huge studies and therefore to plan out in a great detail itni detail tak ki kaun se din kaun sa chapter complete karoge wo bhi aapke dimag mein hona chahiye and dimag mein nahi i would suggest you know have your excel sheet made date wise time wise topic likha karo yes this is what i will complete this is what so daily and then try to see that what you have planned whether you achieved that or not because that becomes very very important right study very very regularly aise nahi ki abhi padhai kiya wapas do din aaram kiya after one month aisa lagega ki nahi nahi hum to frustrated ho gaye you know maza nahi aata hai padhai karne ka no that will not be you know you you have to have regular studies up till the day of your exam or up till finishing of your exam improve the conceptual clarity this is very important especially your technical subjects which i would say practical subjects like accounts costing fm you know the sums there if you understand the basic concept if you are understanding solving any problems is not a problem right so first try to understand the conceptual clarity do not resort to selective studies right ye ek very important thing because what happens is we try to leave something in option right and people those who have given more than once they know ki jo topic option mein choda wo invariably paper mein aata hai theek hai bahut logon ke sath aisa hua hai ki are ye to kabhi pucha hi nahi and you leave it and suddenly in your exam you know it appears 8 mark ka aa gaya 16 mark ka aa gaya 
and you have not even studied that. So don't have that selective study. Avoid time-wasting activities. What are the time-wasting activities according to you? WhatsApp or screen to screen. One screen, our mobile ki screen hai, wo khatam ho gai to hamare paas computer ki screen aa gayi computer ki screen khatam ho gayi to tv ki screen aa gayi and that is a major major problem because what happens is as he said whatsapp ab hota kya you said ek minute kya farak padta hai ek minute but just imagine when you want to go from here to lonawala right one car is continuously running at 100 kilometers while other car is running at 100 kilometers but There are lot of speed breakers in between. अब होगा क्या? जब speed breaker आएगा, तो उसको slow करनी पड़ेगी. तब naturally it cannot be 100 kilometers per hour. उसमें speed कम हो जाएगी. और वापस 100 kilometers में जाते-जाते it will take five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes. कुछ ना कुछ time तो जाएगा ही, right? So ऐसे बहुत सारे speed breakers आते हैं. तो जो लोना वाला पहले कौन पहुँचेगा? जो continuous 100 की speed से भाग रहा है या जो continuous speed breaker में रुक रहा है? Who will reach first? Naturally, continuous जो भाग रहा है वो पहले पहुंचेगा, right? अब आप सोचो कि every few minutes you have that speed breaker, WhatsApp, Twitter, किसको follow करता है, क्या है, you know so many things. Why that is required? People would say if we do not respond to WhatsApp, वो बोलेंगे आप वो social आदमी नहीं है, ये यार एकदम जंगल में चले गया है. How does the difference it is making? आपने इमीडिएट व्हाट्सएप का रिप्लाई नहीं दिया और शाम को अगर आठ बजे रिप्लाई दिया तो कोई फर्क पड़ने वाला है क्या एटलीस्ट आपके लिए तो फर्क कुछ भी नहीं पड़ेगा उसके लिए पड़ेगा कि नहीं मालूम नहीं है बिकॉज करंटली व्हाट इज योर नेक्स्ट गोल इज क्लियर दिस एग्जाम सो वाई यू वॉन्ट टू हैव व्हाट्सएप द बेस्ट सोल्यूशन टू दैट इज या तो मोबाइल घर पर रख दो मतलब मम्मी डैडी के पास छोड़ दो मोबाइल हाथ भी मत लगाओ मोबाइल को अगर मोबाइल रखना भी है तो वो जो स्मार्टफोन्स है ना उसको बाजू में रख दीजिए वो छोटा वाला दूसरा जो आता है ना वो लेके रख दो जिसमें एसएमएस के सिवाय कुछ आएगा ही नहीं बहुत डिफिकल्ट है यू नो वो मोबाइल फोन वो जो स्मार्टफोन के बिगर इम्पॉसिबल हाउ कैन यू लिव ऑक्सीजन नहीं मिलेगा तो चलेगा लेकिन ये स्मार्टफोन तो चाहिए हमको क्यों सो लीव दिस योर स्मार्टफोन एंड देन सी द डिफरेंस बिकॉज This particular smartphone is one of one of the biggest time wasting activities. उसके बाद आपका TV, उसके बाद आपका computer. TV पे either it could be some game show, either it could be some matches, either it could be some TV serials, some movies. So many things we are you know. What is why you require to do that? अगर बहुत बहुत कंटाल आ रहा है क्यों टीवी देखना जाकर के बाहर कहीं थोड़ा सा ऑक्सीजन लेके आओ गार्डन में जाइए आप यू मूव इन गार्डन गो इन एंड टेक सम ऑक्सीजन फ्रेश एयर दैट विल रियली यू नो हेल्प यू वॉचिंग टीवी डज नॉट यू नो आप आप बहुत बार बोलोगे मैं स्ट्रेस कम करता हूं उससे स्ट्रेस कम नहीं होता है स्ट्रेस बढ़ सकता है उससे राइट सो बेटर गो फॉर अ वॉक दस बीस मिनट का वॉक ले लो पावर नेप 20 मिनट का पावर नेप ले लो देर सो मेनी अदर एरियाज ऑफ यू नो रिड्यूसिंग द स्ट्रेस वाई यू वॉन्ट दिस स्क्रीन आफ्टर स्क्रीन ट्राई टू अवॉइड दिस स्क्रीन राइट इफ यू हैव प्रॉब्लम डिस्कस विद योर प्रिंसिपल एक्सपीरियंस फैकल्टी सक्सेसफुल सीनियर स्टूडेंट आई थिंक दैट विल हेल्प यू दैट विल गाइड यू कि कहां पर जाना है लर्न बाय राइटिंग ऑल ऑफ यूर क्लियर टेंथ ट्वेल्थ ठीक है राइट टेंथ और ट्वेल्थ जब क्लियर किया था कहीं ना कहीं क्लासेस ट्यूशन तो किए होंगे ठीक है उस टाइम पे क्लासेस ट्यूशन में हमको एक क्वेश्चन पेपर्स कुछ दिए जाते थे यस ऑल ऑफ यू सॉल्व वेरियस क्वेश्चन पेपर्स इन टेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ डू यू रिमेंबर कितने कितने क्वेश्चन पेपर सॉल्व किए थे डू यू रिमेंबर बहुत सो मेनी राइट नाउ यू आर अपियरिंग फॉर अ प्रोफेशनल एग्जामिनेशन वो इतना सा सिलेबस था टेंथ और ट्वेल्थ का ठीक है उसमें कितने पेपर लिख दिए हमने अभी इतना बड़ा सिलेबस है कितने पेपर हमने लिखे हैं दो जो अब अपियर्ड फॉर एग्जाम्स अदर देन राइटिंग द पेपर इन द एग्जामिनेशन हैव यू एवर ट्राइड टू राइट द पेपर इन एग्जामिनेशन कंडीशन हाउ मेन ऑफ यूर ट्राइड फ्यू ऑफ यूर ट्राइड वेरी गुड सेम एग्जामिनेशन कंडीशन में पेपर लिखना या पेपर पढ़ाई करना दिस इज टू डिफरेंट थिंग सिर्फ पेपर देखना एंड पेपर एक्चुअली लिखना इन एग्जामिनेशन कंडीशन टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स राइट 
So what I am talking about is actually writing the paper. All these papers are now available on the websites, right? Genuinely question paper low, as if pone do baje chalu karo paper likna. Because you get question papers at 1.45, right? 15 minutes you get time for reading the question papers, right? So similarly, you take a question paper, read 15 minutes, do baje answer likna chalu karo, absolutely as if you are appearing for the exam. Wo paper aap khud ja karke, you give it to some senior, to your principal and tell them to correct. And then you will find out how many mistakes you are making. No scene of practice manual or your study material, any other material during that three hours. This is how you should write paper. Aisa paper kitne logo ne likha hai? Very good. This is how you can really improve and you write and write. The basic problem today is most of us have gone absolutely as far as the writing skills are concerned. There is no writing practice with all of us. Because everything today is on computers. You know, we, we immediately take computers, you know, or apna mobile, usi se type kiya, usi se base diya. Writing skills bilkul nahi hai hamare logo ke paas. And therefore what happens is, this writing skills become a very, very important thing. Now, I'll, I'll give you the example that how this paper writing will be of a great utility to you. Do, you. do you agree that if you are an experienced person in whatever area, you will beat the less experienced person in whatever area? Koi bhi area hone do. Some jo aap cycling karte ho, roj aap cycle chalate ho, aur koi ek naya banda cycle chalata hai. To naturally jo roj cycle chalata hai, wo kahin na kahin Right? Now imagine you are writing few papers, maybe two, three, four, every subject you have papers. That means you have a writing practice. So you will be able to first write it fast. And each question, two minutes, you will be able to do it fast. Two minutes, each question. Right? How many minutes do you have? How many questions do you have in the question paper? Six questions पकड़ लो, सब questions भूल जाओ, six questions तो होते ही होते हैं, right? Two minutes per question, मतलब एक-एक minute तो आप जल्दी लिखी पाओगे, ठीक है? So two minutes per question, छः question के कितने होंगे? You are saving twelve, twelve minutes. Now, another advantage of writing is, see, because you are you are reading a question paper and the answer should be clicked immediately. अब होता क्या है? When you are reading PM or something like that. When you read question, कहीं न कहीं आपकी नजर वो answer पे पड़ी जाती है. And therefore, what happens is your mind is not being applied for various solutions that could be. Moreover, what happens is PM is, PM में आपको मालूम है कि आप standard costing कर रहे हो. तो वो जो question पूछा हुआ है, वो standard costing का है. तो you don't apply your mind to find out whether this question is what. Because you are knowing that you, you are doing standard costing, so this question is of standard costing. And therefore you do not apply your mind. Ab ye experience aapko nahi hota hai. Ab imagine when you have this writing skills, writing paper, aapka dimaag bahut tej kaam karega. As soon as you see the question, you know what to read and how to read and you understand whether this question is of standard costing or marginal costing. Immediately you will understand, right? And by that, I have not solved the question paper, so I will get more than 2 minutes to understand. Right? Again, you are saving 2 more minutes for each question. How many questions are left? 6. How many minutes will be saved? 12. Before 12 minutes, because of your writing skills. Another 12 minutes, because you are able to take out the problem out of the question immediately and you know how to solve the problem much before somebody else thinks how to start because most important thing that how to start is very important aap koi bhi answer likhoge you will have to frame your answer so you will take one or two minutes to frame your answers kon kon se points likhna hai ki aisa hota hai ki jaise question dekha ki likhna chalu kar diya thoda time jata hai it may be one minute, it may be two minutes. But if you have writing practice, ये जरूर ये थोड़ा थोड़ा कम हो जाएगा आप में. And thereby you are saving 20, 25 minutes. So additional 20, 25 minutes is a great bonus. You know, because most of us are not able to complete the question paper. ऐसा होता है? 
कि बहुत लोगों ने क्वेश्चन पेपर कंप्लीट ही नहीं किया है हाउ हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू एबल टू कंप्लीट हंड्रेड परसेंट कितने लोगों ने ऐसा बहुत कम मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू कंप्लीट द हंड्रेड परसेंट सो देर फोर बाई डूइंग दिस यू गेट एन एडिशनल टाइम टू कंप्लीट योर क्वेश्चन पेपर सो दैट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो देर फोर ट्राई टू अप्योर try to appear for the question papers which are there on the net in examination condition try to write the answer papers in 2 to 5 because when you daily write daily one answer paper daily one question paper you have to appear 2 to 5 gradually what happens is your body is tuned mind and body is ready at 2 o'clock to write the answer paper as you know president suggested जो लोग भागते हैं यू नो देव दो आर रनिंग इन मैराथन दे गो एट हायर ऑल्टीट्यूड टू रन वाई बिकॉज दे आर प्रिपेयरिंग देयर बॉडी एंड माइंड टू रन एट द सी लेवल यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग योर बॉडी एंड माइंड दैट डेली टू ओ क्लॉक योर बॉडी एंड माइंड इज रेडी टू राइट द पेपर दैट विल गिव एन ग्रेट एडवांटेज राइट लर्निंग ग्रुप मे बी मे बी फ्यू सब्जेक्ट इफ पॉसिबल ट्राई टू गो टू लाइब्रेरी वेर यू हैव यू नो अदर पीपल That will motivate you. अरे ये इतना पढ़ता है तो मैं क्यों नहीं पढ़ सकता हूं दैट इज वन एडवांटेज सेकेंड एडवांटेज इज योर स्मॉल स्मॉल डिफिकल्टीज वुड बी सॉल्व देयर इट सेल्फ थर्ड एडवांटेज इज यू नो नेचुरली वेन यू आर गोइंग टू लाइब्रेरी यू विल गो फॉर अ कप ऑफ टी और समथिंग लाइक एंड देर यू विल स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग यू डोंट नो वेदर देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम और नॉट बट समबडी एल्स वुड पिक अप सम समथिंग अरे यार ये समझ में नहीं आता है हाउ दिस अमालगमेशन इज हैपनिंग एंड सम इश्यू इन अमालगमेशन राइट विच यू आर नॉट इवन अवेयर दैट देर इज अ इश्यू right but when he will ask some somebody else would answer so you would know that okay there is a issue and somebody also will answer so this discussion between yourself would really help you so therefore try and study in the groups what you have to read study material practice manual suggested answers rtps the portal which we just now saw about the chartered accountants the chartered accountant students magazine guidance from the faculty of the board of studies this is some email ids where in case you require you mail it to them and you will get the answers about that you may also get a phone call from the institute that yes you had some issues you know let me let me solve it you know reach the center at least 20 minutes before the time because what happens is you have to settle down your mind and body has to settle down you should not be tense when you are appearing humko agar 5 10 minute late ho jayega to you know your mind gets upset so see that you go and settle properly additional 15 minutes in reading actually this is a this is something great why because this this acts as a great shock absorber kaise jab aap padhai chalu karte ho question paper are ye nahi aata ye nahi aata ye nahi aata and that is a big shock my god gaye kaam se right no problem don't worry be happy Why paper जितना tough होगा correction इतना easy होगा Because क्या होता है sitting at Delhi also people realize because lot of inputs are being given by students, teachers, members that you know this paper was really very tough and therefore students are not able to appear, students are not able to complete. There are some mistakes in question paper, so don't worry. डोंट गेट मतलब घबराने का नहीं कह रहे पेपर बहुत टफ आ गया नो प्रॉब्लम एंड ईच पेपर इज एन इंडिविजुअल पेपर एक पेपर खराब गया इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि दूसरा भी खराब जाएगा राइट ठीक है एक गया तो गया वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम अंडरस्टैंड दैट करेक्शन बहुत ईजी होगा उसका एंड देर फोर आप अगर सोचते हो कि मैं फेल हूंगा नॉट नेसेसरी विल फेल यू कैन पास ऑल्सो राइट सो देर फोर बी बी एब्सोल्युटली कूल एंड काम फिफ्टीन मिनट्स देख लो उसमें आपको लगा दस मिनट में पेपर पढ़ लिया उसमें तीन चार क्वेश्चन नहीं आता है आंख बंद करके बैठ जाओ लेट योर बॉडी एंड माइंड सेटल क्योंकि आप डिस्टर्ब हो चुके हो क्यों दो क्वेश्चन आपको मालूम ही नहीं सिक्सटीन एंड सिक्सटीन थर्टी टू मार्क्स गॉड सो योर माइंड इज एब्सोल्युटली डिस्टर्ब आराम से बैठो वे पंद्रह मिनट इसी के लिए है आपने पढ़ाई कर लिया आराम से बैठो टेक डीप ब्रेथ रिलैक्स कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है समझ लो कि कोई इश्यू ही नहीं है आपको जो आता है 60 मार्क्स का आता है तो आप 60 मार्क्स का अटेम्प्ट करो आपको उसमें से 50 आ जाएंगे लेकिन अगर माइंड डिस्टर्ब होगा तो वो 60 मार्क्स का जो आपको आता है उसमें भी आप गलतियां कर दोगे सो दिस 15 मिनट शुड बी यूज्ड एज अ स्टॉक एब्जॉर्बर अगर सब कुछ आता है तो नथिंग लाइक दैट देन यू गो इन द डिटेलिंग पार्ट ऑफ इट कि कैसे क्या आंसर करूंगा क्या पॉइंट लिखूंगा कैसे लिखूंगा राइट right? 
then three hours to be given really very wisely to present your uh, answers in exam. See, you just have three, three hours. Means how many minutes? 180 minutes. Marks kitne hai? 100. Therefore, ek mark ke liye humko kitna minute dena hai? 1.8, maximum 2 minute. Right? Usse upar nahi dena hai. Aapka jo allocation of time hai, wo usi tarike ka hona chahiye. Aise nahi ki aapne pehla question chalu kar diya, और वो बैलेंस शीट टैली करते करते दूसरे 20 मिनट ज्यादा लगा दिए मतलब यू टुक 50 मिनट्स फॉर अटेम्प्टिंग द क्वेश्चन ऑफ 16 मार्क्स अब हुआ क्या देन यू सडनली रियलाइज ओ माय गॉड ओनली 2 आवर्स 5 क्वेश्चंस आर लेफ्ट एंड होल थिंग्स देन गो हे वायर राइट सो डिसाइड दैट ओके फाइन ये क्वेश्चन को मुझे आधा घंटा देना है आधे घंटे में वो क्वेश्चन खत्म ही करना है नहीं होता है तो जहां पर खत्म करना है शॉर्ट में खत्म करके आगे बढ़ो व्हाई बिकॉज़ डूइंग सम एडिशनल वर्क फॉर 15 मिनट्स एंड डूइंग एन एडिशनल क्वेश्चन इन 15 मिनट्स लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस एडिशनल क्वेश्चन में हो सकता है आपको 7 8 मार्क मिल जाएंगे लेकिन वो एडिशनल काम जो टोटलिंग करने वाला काम है उससे शायद आपको 7 8 मार्क ज्यादा नहीं मिलेंगे सो देयरफॉर how to divide your time is very important. Rationing hai. Your limited time. Wo limited time mein aapko khatam karna hai. Agar aapki speed sahi rahi, if you are regularly practicing, to shayad ye problem nahi aayega. Nahi to ye problem aayega aapko. Kya hoga? Because you are slow. Because you are slow, her question ko aapko ek 10-15 minute jyada lagega. And therefore, in all probabilities, aapka ya 16 mark ka ya 32 mark ka chhut jayega. In all probabilities. So therefore, you have to allocate the time very, very wisely and present your answer absolutely in a great, great neatness. Now just imagine, for you it is one paper. The person who is correcting the paper, he is correcting 600, 700, 800 papers, right? Now, everywhere in the institute, you see your next exam dates are fixed, right? आप लोगों को सबको मालूम है कि हमको जो एग्जाम देना है नवंबर टू नवंबर वाया मई ठीक है ऑल ऑफ अस नो इट वेरी क्लियरली जब तक क्लियर नहीं होते तब तक ये हमको किसी ऐसे यूनिवर्सिटी के सुने के आपने कि फिक्स एग्जाम डेट्स बीकॉम का एग्जाम तो यही डेट को चालू होगा नहीं होता है अब ये इंस्टीट्यूट इज हैविंग सच एन वेरी वेरी टाइट शेड्यूल एंड देयरफॉर द पर्सन हु इज करेक्टिंग द पेपर्स ही हैज टू रिस्पोंड इन अ वेरी लिमिटेड टाइम तो उसको 700-800 पेपर्स अगर दिए जाते हैं, तो along with that he's also been given and mandated that आपको इतने दिन में पेपर करेक्ट करके वापस देने हैं। So therefore, when when the person is correcting the papers, you have to see to it that you present your answers in such a way that it becomes easier for him to correct the answers. That becomes very important. ऐसे ना हो कि हम पहले question one a लिखें, फिर question two b लिखें। फिर जा करके 3 3A लिखे फिर सडनली 7 7D लिख दिया नाउ यू आर यू आर प्लेइंग प्लेइंग विद द टाइम ऑफ द पेपर चेकर वैसे मत करो यू विल इरिटेट हिम अब उसको जब इरिटेट करोगे तो नेचुरली कहीं ना कहीं ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी काम आती है वो आपको आधा या एक मार्क कम दे देगा हर क्वेश्चन में आधा या एक मार्क हर क्वेश्चन में कम दे दिया आपके टोटल 6 और 6 12 क्वेश्चंस होंगे एक मार्क कम दे दिया कितना मार्क्स कम हो गया 12 हाउ मेनी सब्जेक्ट्स यू हैव इन ऑल दोनों ग्रुप मिला करके 8 और 7 ठीक है अगर 8 पकड़ो तो एक में 12 हो गए तो 8 मार्क 8 पेपर के कितने मार्क्स हो गए जस्ट बिकॉज़ यू आर नॉट प्रेजेंटिंग योर पेपर्स करेक्टली 60 70 80 मार्क्स आपके चले गए ह्यूज डिफरेंस ह्यूज डिफरेंस इजंट इट सो ट्राई टू मेक योर पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन इन सच अ वे इट बिकम्स वेरी इजी फॉर द करेक्टर फॉर द चेकर ऑफ द पेपर राइट उसको कहां का आपको द प्रेजेंटेशन शुड बी सच वेयर यू वांट टू हाईलाइट कि यस ये मुझे मालूम है तो मे बी यू कैन अंडरलाइन सम पॉइंट्स wherever required you can mention the sections only if you know if you do not know sections case laws please do not write agar aapko bilkul sahi tarike se pakka malum hai to hi likho nahi to galat section likhne se aapka material andar sahi bhi hoga but galat section likhne se you are gone because what happens is you write some section 
राइट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू राइट सेक्शन कोई ए टी सी राइट एंड यू से दिस इज डिरेक्शन अंडर ए टी सी और होगा अंदर डोनेशन आपने ए टी सी लिखा कैलकुलेशन पूरा डोनेशन का किया बिल्कुल सही कैलकुलेशन कर दिया एंड सडनली यू डोंट गेट द मार्क्स वाई बिकॉज आपने सेक्शन ए टी सी लिख दिया वो ब्लॉक आ गया पर पेपर करेक्ट करने वाले के दिमाग में इसी ए टी सी लिखा है इसने गलत ही लिखा है सो डोंट ट्राई एंड यू नो गिव सम रॉन्ग इंडिकेशन टू द पेपर करेक्टर बिकॉज यू अंडरस्टैंड हिज साइकोलॉजी उसको बहुत ही लिमिटेड टाइम में आपका पेपर करेक्ट करना है नॉट दैट ही विल डू इनजस्टिस He will do absolutely justice, but एक human psychology है कि आपको अगर कोई परेशान करेगा तो naturally कहीं ना कहीं आपको problem लगेगा Let us take other way round. You are absolutely neat and clean. You know हर चीज बिल्कुल सही Your your first answer, second answer is something absolutely great, right? तो जब वो फोर्थ फिफ्थ पे आएगा ना तो वो पहले वाले जो पहले दो तीन आंसर बहुत बढ़िया लिखे हैं उसकी कुछ ना कुछ इफेक्ट पड़ी होगी सो ऑटोमेटिकली विल गिव हाफ मार्क वन मार्क कहीं ना कहीं ज्यादा दे देगा सी द डिफरेंस कहा एक मार्क कम देगा कहा एक मार्क ज्यादा देगा दो मार्क का फर्क हो गया राइट एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सच ए ह्यूज पेपर सो मेनी पेपर सी द डिफरेंस राइट सो ट्राई टू सी दैट योर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ आंसर इज सच विच विल रियली हेल्प द पेपर चेकर इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर focus your answers to the questions that have been asked very important any question first you find out what is that you have to write you know they will somewhere they will ask you find this write this pura question mein kai kabhi aage likha hoga kabhi end mein likha hoga kabhi beech mein likha hoga many times so happens you know humne jaisa hi question dekha immediately we start writing something first find out what is the requirement of the question to wo ek pehle pin point karna hai that what is the question बाकी सारे फैक्ट्स होते हैं पेपर में यू नो अकाउंट्स एफएम, कॉस्टिंग द लॉट ऑफ फैक्ट्स एंड द क्वेश्चन इज समथिंग डिफरेंट सो यू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन डो नॉट राइट वेग और इरेलेवेंट आंसर्स दैट रियली इरिटेट्स द पर्सन क्या लिखा है कुछ भी लिखा है टक 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 वो दो तीन क्रॉस मारने के बाद तीसरे चौथे पे शायद कुछ राइट होगा तो गलती से क्रॉस लग जाता है प्रैक्टिकल डिफिकल्टी है राइट while writing answers in examinations you must use good language and the writing should be such where people can read it. it it should not be something where people are not able to read it the last part of uh, you know my uh, things would be some myths of uh, ca exams paper setting all india mix and moderations this is where you know uh, uh, some inside stories about uh, uh, the ca exams paper setting मैं आपको ये नहीं बताऊंगा कि कौन सा पेपर आने वाला है क्या होता है बट आई गिव यू द प्रोसेस ऑफ पेपर सेटिंग व्हाट हैपेंस इज मेनी टाइम्स इन योर क्लासेस और सम फ्रेंड्स और सम टीचर्स दे विल टेल यू ओ डोंट वरी यू नो मैं पेपर करेक्ट करता हूं मुझे मालूम है कैसे क्या होता है मैं पेपर सेट करता हूं मैंने पेपर सेट किए सी इंस्टीट्यूट के बिल्कुल बकवास बिल्कुल हमबक नॉट पॉसिबल वाई बिकॉज इंस्टीट्यूट डज नॉट परमिट anybody who is either setting the paper or who is correcting the papers to make this statement to anybody there is a declaration given to the institute that he will not declare it or tell anybody that i am setting the paper or i am correcting the papers right so agar aisa koi bolta hai to galat bolta hai aur agar koi aisa milne bolta hai ki main ca pe ka paper correct karta hu ya main set karta hu uska naam aur membership number mujhe zarur de dijiye that sir this is a person who is selling like that kindly find out whether actually is doing it or not and i'll see to it you know what can be done at the institute level one second is paper setting इंस्टीट्यूट में कोई भी एक आदमी पेपर सेट नहीं करता है देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ पेपर विच आर बीन सेट इट वुड बी मे बी नाइन इट वुड बी ट्वेल्व मे बी डिफरेंट पीपल विल सेट डिफरेंट नो बडी नोज हु आर द पीपल हु आर सेटिंग राइट देर वुड बी सम मॉडरेटर देर वुड बी सम हेड एग्जामिनर दे विल सी ऑल द पेपर्स अलॉन्ग विथ सम काउंसिल मेंबर एग्जाम कमिटी मेंबर वो बैठ के देन दे विल डिसाइड कि ये विच क्वेश्चन आर टू बी टेकन so it is not that ek question paper utha liya usko complete kar liya so it is a mixture of few question papers wahan kar pe ja kar ke there are three set of question papers which are made right and that is permutation combinations of various other question papers and this question papers are nowhere nobody knows whether you know this is of ipcc final or which subject 
those who have appeared for the papers earlier, have you ever seen that there is any subject or the IPCC final, nothing is written. There is some code number, FXW, something like that. Nothing is written on the question paper. So, the question papers when they are finalized, there are only the code numbers which are written. Right? After rewriting the code numbers, they are packed in the sealed envelope. Even the president of the institute does not know that this particular code means what. It is only the code number on the top of the envelope. Right? And the envelopes are placed before the president to decide that okay, which, which envelope he selects. Whatever envelopes he selects, that would be the question paper. So there are first of all 12, 9 or 12 sets. From that there are 3 sets which are prepared. From that 3 sets, one has been selected, nobody knows what is selected. When the selection happens, the president actually is not knowing that it is for IPCC or final. It is for accounts or it is for FM. It is for ID, uh, indirect tax or direct tax. Nothing is known to president, right? It is only some codes which are been selected, that's all. Right? So therefore, if someone says that you know, paper will get, I will give a paper, I will make absolutely humbug. It is impossible. No one knows anything about it, including the persons who are actually sitting and setting the papers. Those two or three people who sit, who take different questions, they don't remember which one is the question, which one is the question, which one is the question, which one is the paper. Because there are three papers being prepared. And which paper is to be selected, nobody knows. Right? And therefore it is impossible that if somebody says that I have a question paper, I have made a question paper, absolutely humbug. Hoi nahi sakta hai. Because there is team which is done and the team does what they does is maybe from few of the selected question papers they are selecting a three question papers or usme se ek question paper select karte hai president of the institute. So absolutely kisi ko pata nahi hota hai ki kaun sa question paper hai, kaun se questions andar hai. That is the paper setting part of it. वो कैसे कहाँ पहुँचता है? I'm not going into all that details because we are having a tremendous solid because सारे भारत देश में ये papers पहुँचने चाहिए at a specific time where they are stored, how they are stored, how they are prepared. Absolutely बहुत ही एक एक foolproof mechanism है and sometimes it happens. You must have read read in the newspaper की question paper फूट गया. वो फूट नहीं जाता है. गलती से ये जो कोड नंबर है वो गलती से कोई आदमी गलत कोड नंबर खोल देता है एंड देर फॉर दैट प्रॉब्लम सकर्स अदरवाइज कोई पेपर फूटता नहीं है ऑल इंडिया मिक्स व्हाट इज दिस ऑल इंडिया मिक्स यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड यू मस्ट हैव आल्सो थॉट योरसेल्फ कि बॉम्बे से पेपर देते हैं ना बहुत प्रॉब्लम होता है यू नो लेट अस गो टू राजकोट लेट अस गो टू नासिक लेट अस गो टू विजयवाड़ा या ऐसा हमने सोचा होगा बहुत बार वहाँ से जाएंगे तो पास होता है क्यों क्योंकि वहाँ के क्या है कि स्टूडेंट्स जो होंगे वो बहुत ज़्यादा पढ़ाई नहीं किया होगा बहुत ज़्यादा आंसर अच्छे नहीं लिखेंगे अपना आंसर अच्छा होगा तो हम उसमें हमारा पेपर बहुत बढ़िया दिख जाएगा एंड विल पास इट इट इज़ नॉट लाइक दैट वॉट इज दिस ऑल इंडिया मिक्स वॉट एवर पेपर्स विच यू आर राइटिंग ऑल दिस पेपर्स के उसी शाम को बंडल बना के सीधे नोएडा बेच दिए जाते हैं All papers go to Noida. Noida mein we have a big building. Wo sare papers Noida mein it is it is like a big jail. You know nobody is allowed to enter into the building without proper checking. Or hamare mobile wagare sab bahar chhodke jana padta hai hamko. Fir president of the institute hoga to bhi hamare jaise council member honge to bhi hamare jaise exam committee member honge to bhi. Everybody has to read you know leave their mobile all the accessories outside. Only then we are allowed to enter into that building. Whole building, I am not talking room. Whole building is like that. So, in this building, all the papers are filled in all the countries. How many times you are writing a roll number on your answer paper? Do you remember? How many times? Two times. Who writes two times? Who writes two times? Just raise the hand. रोल नंबर दो बार कौन लिखता है? It is only once, once and only also on that triangular slip which is there cross. एक ही बार हमको रोल नंबर लिखना होता है. At no other place you are allowed to give your identity. अगर गलती से आपने कोई identity दे दी Immediately disciplinary action would be taken on you. Your result would be withheld. कभी try करना है तो try करके देखिए. आपका आपका कोई phone number या आपका identity कोशिश करके देखिए. Immediately your result would be withheld. 
you are not allowed to give your identity in your paper. Now what happens is, when you are writing a roll number and all these papers reach at NOIDA, there is a randomly generated numbers which would replace your roll number. मतलब आपका रोल नंबर आप जब क्लास में बैठे होते हो तो चार हजार एक दो तीन चार पांच छह सात ऐसे सब लाइन में होते हैं राइट बट वेन एक्चुअली द पेपर्स गो टू नोएडा देर इज अ रेंडम नंबर विच इज बीन जनरेटेड सो चार हजार एक के लिए रेंडम नंबर होगा एक लाख एक लाख पांच हजार सात सौ नौ चार हजार दो रोल नंबर के लिए होगा फोर थाउजेंड फाइव फिर चार हजार तीन के लिए होगा वन चार हजार चार के लिए होगा मे बी फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फिर एट थाउजेंड फिर नाइन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एनी थिंग सो दिस रेंडम नंबर दे दिए जाते हैं इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर रोल नंबर देन योर चिट ऑफ दैट रोल नंबर इज केयर ऑफ फॉर डाल के एंड देन द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ योर आंसर पेपर इज ओनली दैट रेंडम नंबर देन दिस आंसर पेपर आर अरेन्ज एज पर द रेंडम नंबर और ये रेंडम नंबर कुछ भी हो सकते हैं एक मुंबई का होगा दूसरा पूना का होगा तीसरा जलगांव का होगा चौथा नासिक का होगा पांचवा बिलासपुर का होगा छठवा कलकत्ता का होगा आठवा दिल्ली का होगा चेन्नई का होगा सो ऑल इंडिया मिक्स सारे पेपर मिक्स हो जाते हैं सो देर इज नो आइडेंटिटी ऑफ योर रोल नंबर वंस द पेपर रिच इज एट नोएडा देन इट इज ओनली दैट रेंडम नंबर से पूरा ट्रैकिंग होता है so again that is been converted only after the results are finalized uske baad hi ye sare random number random numbers roll number mein convert hote and immediately they are on the net so even the president of the institute would not know ki kaun sa paper kiska hai there are n number of examples where the son or the daughter of the sitting president or the exam committee members have failed in the exams which are been which are been conducted and also Say for example, if the president's son is appearing for IPCC, in whole of the process of IPCC, president will not be present. That means right from the correction of the papers to the declaration of result, nowhere he will be present. Right? So that is how the papers are been, uh, uh, the the answers are been corrected, and such a great secrecy. So if someone tells you that I will pass you the answer, again, again, absolutely humbug. It is not possible in CA exams. so that is all india mix now last coming to the moderation part of it i told you uh, in the beginning that bahut bar humne jo xerox copy mat photocopy mangai to photocopy mein hamare marks the 37 mark sheet mein marks hai 45 hum bolte hain institute mein koi kya kuch koi dekhta nahi hai sab chalta hai it's not like that see what happens is we are an all india examination conducting body right there are a number of students of different caliber you know all across the india sabka caliber ek nahi ho sakta hai when you, when you have done your uh, itt all of you know, all, all of you must have done your itt training right tabhi shuru shuru mein aapko laga hoga kya sikha de yaar hum logo ko sab aata hai isme laga hoga aapko yes but you imagine somebody staying in in some de- great district in the, uh, uh, say uh, ghaziabad somewhere or maybe in kutch some district or some district uh, in remote place at assam wahan par usko computer kya hai wohi malum nahi hai to usko a b c d se sikhana padta hai so therefore since this is an all india exam देर कुड नॉट बी अ सिलेबस की ये हमको बंबई वाले को ये सिलेबस रखो डेली वालों को ये रखो एंड यू नो सम पर्सन फ्रॉम पोरबंदर यू हैव अ डिफरेंट सिलेबस इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट सिलेबस सारे के लिए एक होता है तब बहुत लोगों को लगता है ये तो मुझे सब आता है आपको सब आता है बिकॉज राइट फ्रॉम वेरी यंग एज यू हैव बीन यू नो ट्रेन इन दैट वे नॉट एवरीबडी इज प्रिविलेज लाइक यू आर राइट एंड देर फॉर दिस सिलेबस है सो देर फॉर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट मॉडरेशन वी गेट एन नंबर ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सेस एंड आई वुड सजेस्ट wherever you have any issues relating to question papers please write a email to the exam department each and every representation which has been received is been considered this is i can tell you from my experience that that has been considered ab jab say for example question number 1 accounts you say ki there is a mistake in the question अगर आपको लगता है कुछ मिस्टेक है प्लीज राइट टू द इंस्टीट्यूट बिकॉज इंस्टीट्यूट विल एक्चुअली सी कि ये मिस्टेक है कि नहीं बिकॉज दिस रिप्रेजेंटेशन वुड रियली हेल्प आपको अगर मिस्टेक नहीं आपको लगा कि डिफिकल्ट है 
आपको लगा कि नहीं इसमें मुझे टाइम इंस्टेड ऑफ यू नो फोर्टी मिनट इट टुक मी यू नो सिक्सटी मिनट फॉर आंसरिंग दिस क्वेश्चन प्लीज राइट इट बिकॉज अगर सौ दो सौ तीन सौ बच्चों ने ऐसा लिखा कि मुझे इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने को सिक्सटी मिनट लगते हैं द इंस्टीट्यूट विल कंसिडर ये दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज स्लाइटली डिफिकल्ट एंड देर फोर सम ग्रेस मार्क्स आर गिवन और वो ग्रेस मार्क्स जो दिए जाते हैं इसके लिए ये 37 के 45 हो गए आपके ठीक है एंड दिस ग्रेस मार्क्स आर गिवन फॉर द वेरियस पर्पसेस एक ग्रेस मार्क्स आपका ये हो गया फॉर योर रिप्रेजेंटेशन विच वर रिसीव नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम द मेंबर्स फ्रॉम बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज फ्रॉम द फैकल्टीज फ्रॉम द टीचर्स सो मेनी सो मेनी रिप्रेजेंटेशन आर बिन रिसीव ऑल दीज रिप्रेजेंटेशन फॉर ऑल द पेपर्स फॉर ऑल द क्वेश्चन दे आर बिन टेबुलेटेड एंड देन इट इज डिसाइडेड कि किस क्वेश्चन में ग्रेस मार्क्स देना है या नहीं देना है सो दैट इज वन पार्ट ऑफ इट सेकेंड पार्ट जो ग्रेस मार्क्स के जो आते हैं दैट इज फॉर योर इंडिविजुअल पेपर चेकर एक उसका अलग चेकर का एक अलग देर इज सम डिफरेंट मेट्रिक्स एंड डिफरेंट बेंच मार्क आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट बेंच मार्क बट वेयर वी फील दैट यू नो थोड़ा सा बेंच मार्क से हिल गया है थोड़ा सा स्ट्रिक्ट हो गया है सो इफ द हेड एग्जामिनर फील दैट दिस पर्टिक्युलर जो चेकिंग करता है वो थोड़ा सा उसने स्ट्रिक कर दिया है तो वहां पर दे यूज देयर मॉडरेशन यू नो पावर एंड उसमें कुछ ना कुछ मार्क्स बढ़ा दिए जाते हैं दैट इज सेकेंड थर्ड थिंग इज कि हम बहुत बार कहते हैं कि यार मैं एक मार्क के लिए फेल हो गया फेंकता है वो आदमी हंड्रेड परसेंट ब्लफिंग बिकॉज इंस्टीट्यूट हैज इज ओन मार्क्स का कैलकुलेशन ओन फॉर्मूला वेयर नो बडी हैज टू यू नो इंडल्ज इन दैट नो ह्यूमन इंटरवेंशन जैसा वो कुछ देखेंगे आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेल यू वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला बट इफ यू फिट्स इन दैट फॉर्मूला इमीजिएटली सम ग्रेस मार्क्स आर गिवन और बहुत बार आप देखोगे कि यू नो वो एग्जैक्ट फोर्टी मार्क्स आ गए यू नो एग्जैक्ट टू हंड्रेड मार्क्स आ गए समझ लेना वो ग्रेस मार्क्स दिए गए एंड दैट इज ड्यू टू द फिक्स मैकेनिज्म नो बडी नोज दैट किसी को मालूम नहीं है दैट कंप्यूटर में वो फॉर्मूला फीड गई फीड गई है तो कभी कभार हम ऐसे सोचते हैं इंस्टीट्यूट भी क्या यार एक मार्क के लिए फेल कर देती है इट डज नॉट हैपन लाइक दैट यू नो देर इज अ स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला और वो फॉर्मूला में आई कैन गारंटी हूं कि एक मार्क्स के लिए कोई फेल नहीं हो सकता है राइट दिस इज वॉट इज बीन देयर एज एन मॉडरेशन there are so many inside stories which i'll not be able to you know disclose because uh, there are so many things which are very very secret and the model of this examination which is being conducted throughout india and it is this department is working 24 by 7 you know by the time your result is declared next exam ke papers ki taiyari ho jati hai this is how the things are working एंड इफ यू डू नॉट वर्क ट्वेंटी फोर बाय सेवन ये जो टाइम टेबल जो हमको मेंटेन करना पड़ता है कंडक्टिंग द एग्जाम इन टाइम डिक्लेयरिंग द रिजल्ट इन टाइम दैट वुड नॉट हैपन एंड ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ हार्डवर्क इज बिन पुट बाय बाय द इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर यू नो हैविंग दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग डन वेरी वेरी रेगुलरली एंड जस्ट इमेजिन द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स दैट हैव यू नो गॉन अप ह्यूज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज रिक्वायर्ड राइट एंड दैट ऑल्सो वी डू नॉट ओन दैट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर the various centers various colleges across the country so that is how the things have been happening so with this i think uh, if there are any questions i'll take up uh, maybe at a later stage but uh, thank you very much for giving a very patient hearing and wish you all the best for your next exam thank you so much friends before we invite the next speaker and the trainer or guide to further preparation for exams join me to appreciate our gratitude to our learned atul bhai who who shared with us the insight of both the sides that coaching small small details how they really help you to prepare for the exams and the real examination condition how every mark every minute every small details count one of the things very important point is that that most of us in a sheer pressure of completing the paper sometimes misread the questions the question which is asked and the kind of answers that we prepare and make it 
sometimes makes our life suicidal so with that i request all of you to join me to appreciate with a round a round of huge applause and now i will invite mayur bhai to take over the floor mayur nayak has been the faculty for this particular program for many many years yeah he has been the faculty for many years he has been the past president of bombay chartered accountant society he has contributed many articles and the books for the professional interest very wonderful person he has been leading this particular committee called the human uh, development committee till last year and now he is he will be looking after the soft skill about it for example our uh, atul bhai looked at the brass tech or what we call how many hours you should study what way you should study what are your strengths what are your weaknesses how to overcome how many number of times you should prepare what the examination conditions are etc but along with that there are certain things called the attitude determination mental toughness or the emotional turbulence that you have to overcome etc and to some extent how you can build up yourself for which mayur bhai will be helping us let us welcome him with a huge round of applause before he takes over a small request all the members please mind you this particular both the presentations will be available on the website of the bombay charcoal society so it will be available for you to download and uh, uh, restudy it and uh, revise it also for your benefit and number 2 during this particular presentations the refreshment is available and you have another one and a half hour to two hours to go so you can pick up the refreshment again and help yourself you can also uh, shall we shall we break for 5 minutes so that you all get little ease and uh, you are feeling better fine